Ganesham Tiwari, will the opposition let the parliament function? Because the government's charge is these people have no better job than to come, raise slogans, disrupt parliament and walk out. Yeah, we, we want the parliament to function because the government has to answer on the electoral bond scam. The government has to answer on the exit poll scam. The government has to answer on the neat leak scam and its complete inability and ineptitude to conduct the exam subsequently. And uh, to my point, the chief priest of Ram Temple, Acharya Satyendra Das, mentioned about the leakage in the temple where the Ram Lalla is Virajman. So the government has to answer in their rush to make the uh, an event uh, out of the religious sentiment of, of uh, a billion people. Why has it uh, punished the temple? Mm -hmm. So these questions need to be answered. And if when these questions are answered in the well of the house, rather than on the platforms of certain media channels mm -hmm. in front of certain anchors, the constitution is strong enough that the prime minister and his ministers will speak the truth. They can't bat here and there. They can't uh, okay. uh, show crocodile tears and walk away. They will have to answer and it is the job of the opposition. The mandate is, is by the people of the country for the opposition to make this arrogant government answer to its own scams, its scandals, its arrogance, ineptitude, and ensure that the governance of the nation progresses to benefit the nation rather than a bunch of crony capitalists. Rohi, Rohi Re, I have exactly 20 more seconds. I'll let you have the last word. The opposition is saying we have every reason to ensure that the parliament functions. It's the government that will try its best to disrupt it because it has some very tough questions to answer. Yeah, exactly. See, we don't have to answer to people who feel that they got 37 seats or 34 seats or 99 seats and they think that the people who got mandate of 240 seats are much less than them. So what will we answer to these people who are living in a delusional world? So they are only working on an agenda of chaos and confusion, but we are working on constructive debate and conclusion and uh, we will continue doing so. But Ruhi Re, the point is that uh, these 39 people or 41 people or 101 people or 200 people or not just any people, they represent the will of this country as well. They are part of parliament and the government is answerable to parliament. So how can you say we will not be answerable to the opposition? The opposition after all also, re also represent the people of this country. Exactly. But we have always tried to answer. You kept on sloganeering when the Prime Minister was talking about the various issues on the last day of the 17th Lok Sabha. We did not uh, do at the time when Adhiranjan Chaudhary was doing so. You know, Shriyaji, I will just conclude with one line. What shocked me when I was looking at the screen of Mirror now was seeing the Congress and TMC standing together to protect democracy, quote unquote. Whereas in Bengal, the first post poll violence mm. murder that took place in Manik Chowk of Ajmal Sheikh was a Congress worker allegedly killed by TMC. And they went together standing to protect democracy, to protect human mm. rights. And what else I have no idea of. But this speaks of mere hypocrisy and okay. their fake news factory. They see, they feel that the people will accept all around, but this is not going to happen. Ruhi Re, the fake news factory is equally big on your side, huh? So let's not get there. It's it's a debate for another time. But we'll leave it there for the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Ruhi Re, thank you very much. Rami Desai, good to have you on the show. Matthew Anthony, thank you very much. Riju Datta, good to have you on the show. And Ganshyam Tiwari, thank you very much. All we can